All right. Good morning, each and everyone. Uh, my name is Pao Salu. Welcome to our, our live uh, commentary discussions and uh, boxing news uh, today. Uh, the date today is uh, July uh, 16, uh, Saturday in Manila. It's July 17 in the U.S. We're going to be covering and uh, discussing uh, the Arnold Barboza Jr. and the Danielito Zorilia fight. Uh, and including the Raymond Muratalia in uh, here uh, Valtiera fight. So we want to learn more about international boxing. And we should start to watch a lot of international boxing even though there's not a lot of uh, appeal here in the Philippines yet for these fighters. <clears throat> I'm sure in the future they'll be, uh, you know, they'll be talked about here, especially uh, you know if they get they get match up against Filipinos. But anyway, uh, let me go ahead and share to you a quick updates of who won uh, on the undercard. And right now, Raymond Moratalia is actually uh, entering uh, the ring. And uh, who uh, who fought er earlier today? We got Stephen Shaw winning by a knockout in the first round against Bernardo Marquez. George Maron Jr. Uh, won via, uh, it's a draw, majority draw against uh, Adrian Young. Richard uh, Torres uh, won via KO in the first round against Roberto Zavala Jr. Floyd Diaz uh, won against uh, Pedro Salome uh, via knockout in the third round. And Austin Brooks won by unanimous decision against Victor Saravia. So that's what we're going to be talking about before we go, go ahead and officially start this. Let me go ahead and, uh, and do a quick minute countdown so we can also share it. Good morning, each and everyone. And uh, nice to be back again live and uh, doing live commentary on a Saturday morning here in Manila. Powercast Sports. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Boxing? We're talking about boxing? You kidding me? Of course we are. Good morning, each and everyone. Uh, good morning, uh, Bobby Oswenko. Salamat, uh, the aking mga solid. Ano? Uh, Alvin Tiles, good morning. Uh, shout out from Japan. Bobby Oswenko, Tomato Kwan, Juan Marcelo, Rabil Bernardas, and G13. Good morning, each and everyone. We might do a majority English for today. I'm not sure how many Filipinos will be interested in this fight. But right now, um, before we uh, talk about the... Uh, um, <clears throat> of course, the main event, and I'm, uh, later today, I'm going to be providing you with some news about boxing, of course, and the way in of the, uh, of the main event tomorrow between Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia is not yet fighting today. It's tomorrow, okay? They just weigh in earlier, and uh, they both made weight. Uh, we'll be discussing more of that later. But right now, um, we're watching two uh, uh, boxing prospects uh, here, and uh, it's the fight of Raymond Murataglia. Uh, and uh, a lot of guys are saying that this guy is good. Raymond Moratalia, only 25 years old. And he's fighting Jair uh, Valtiera. So we're talking about that right now. And uh, let me just go ahead and give you a quick background. This is just the first round. Uh, Raymond Moratalia. Uh, I think they're from um, uh, uh, Diaz. Uh, I think that's who's the trainer of Moratalia. Uh, this, no, no. Um, Garcia, Robert Garcia. Uh, he's called the Danger. He's 25 years old from the U uh, from the U.S. of A. Okay, and his record is 14 wins undefeated. Uh, this boxer has uh, you know has been uh, slowly gaining momentum and uh, 
slowly uh, and surely he will be one of the top prospects that uh, we will have probably in the you know uh, junior welterweight 140 pound division so um so watch out for that guy he's fighting here um uh jer uh valtiera from mexico uh 20 years old known as the kaiser and uh he's the uh, looking at his record is it is this is his first time fighting in the u.s so we'll see what he can do fighting uh uh, for the first time in America, uh, he fought uh, Javier uh, Jose Clavero uh, in Foro Centerio uh, Coyoacan in uh, in uh, Mexico. Now he's fighting a uh, prospect, um, <coughs> Lito Taberna. Shout out! Shout out to akong uh, mama, papa, dahi katel dava Oriental mama, Gemma, ung papa Alan Kanon, salamat idol pao. Umagang nosebleed. Yes, sir. Because you know, um, we're gonna try and do a. Let's see if we could have some international appeal uh, uh, for this fight. Again, this is uh, a fight. There's no Filipino fighting on this card. However, um, I am really looking forward to seeing more of uh, Raymond Moratalia. I heard a lot of good things for coming, uh, from, from this guy, from a lot of uh, articles. So, you know, that's why we're watching this. Doesn't matter if uh, a lot of people is watching, but good morning. Um, each and every round, uh, we're gonna try and uh, maybe, maybe uh, give you some quick updates on boxing. Uh, but we need—I need to focus on this one because I want to learn more about the style of uh, Morotalia. These guys um, could actually or potentially uh, fight uh, Ryan Garcia and uh, Chufimo Lopez. Saludar fight will be tomorrow. Okay, in in the undercard of. Uh, <clears throat> of Ryan Garcia and uh, and Javier uh, Fortuna. All right, not today, not today, sir. So this is ESPN Boxing. It's it's a good thing that they didn't do it uh, on the same night because really, uh, you know, the the viewership will be uh, you know split, and uh, obviously, I don't think they can compete to Ryan Garcia. In reference to viewership, uh, because Ryan Garcia, oh Ryan Garcia is really, uh, uh, you know, popular, and it's gonna be hard to compete. So it's good that they're doing this on the um, on a Friday night their time. So round number two, uh, Silent Assassins, Andre Ward, Top Five, Naoya Inoue, Jesse Rodriguez, Arthur Beterbiev, Terence Crawford, and Errol Spence. Junior uh, and uh, Silent Assassins top five. I think top five ngayon ni Andre Wards. So I think top five boxers uh, according to him. Um, does make sense? You know, I, I don't agree on some. But uh, Milan Melindo, Sir Pao, good ng cap. Shout out, sir. Uh, thank you so much, Milan. Uh, I do appreciate Looking forward to your next fight. And uh, happy that you're joining me here. Um, I'm doing international boxing coverage of the fight of uh, Barboza and Zorilla, 140-pound division. I think the 140-pound division will be the next uh, uh, division where you know we, we get a lot oh, and most of the fight, uh, exciting fights. Um, Gervonta Davis is going up. Ryan Garcia is going up. Uh, Chufima Lopez is going up. Dave and Haney could be going up, you know. So thank you guys. Let me just go ahead and uh, share this one more time. Don't get confused. Uh, Vic Saludar is not fighting tonight. Uh, today, uh, that's gonna be tomorrow, guys. That's gonna be tomorrow on the uh, undercard of Brian Garcia. Good morning. Uh, if you want to have some shout outs, just go ahead and uh, comment. All right. Moratalia wearing the uh, lavender trunks. And uh, Valtiera, white and with green. Uh, Moratalia attacking here. I should be paying uh, closely to this. Let me just uh, pay a little bit closer to this fight. Let me just do one more share on my personal channel, Pow Salute Project. Now, uh, if you want to learn more about me or, you know, want to know more what of, of what I'm doing, where I'm going uh, personally, of what I'm interested about, uh, personally, just go ahead and uh, uh, go to my personal channel. 
<clears throat> now, I, today I was debating actually, or yesterday I was debating if I'm gonna do a, a Ryan, just a Ryan Garcia topic so I get more views. Uh, but I know you not, you go, you not, you guys know that uh, Ryan Garcia made weight, so it uh, doesn't matter. Robert Garcia is doing a great uh, job, doing great. Must have learned a lot of losing to Manny many, ta- many times. Now, that's, that's the thing about losing. Um, that's the thing about losing. Uh, you learn and you adjust. You know, uh, if you're comfortable on top, uh, like, for example, me, you know, um, sometimes, you know, I, I get to relax because people are watching and, uh, you know, and I'm finding, oh, other channels are doing better. So, hey, I need to reevaluate what I'm doing and, and see if I can improve on something or maybe I could do something new. So just like this one, doing uh, the uh, fight of uh, Raymond Muratalia, Jair uh, Volterra. Uh, these guys are boxing prospects. Uh, so one coming from Mexico and one highly rated by uh, uh, Garcia. Uh, Dre Day, Salud vs. Oscar Colazzo. An underrated fight on that Ryan Garcia card. Obviously, if you're a Filipino man, um, uh, you know, this is something that you're going to have to watch. I actually personally feel that uh, based on experience and uh, experience is a great teacher I think uh, maybe just maybe uh, we may have an edge uh, I think uh, although I, I'm really uh, like yesterday or if not yesterday because I do a lot of lives if not yesterday um, I was talking about you know matching uh, why, why are they ma- matching Victor Saladar against a 4-0 guy you know uh, given the fact that he's, uh, you know, he is good, but uh, you know, I'm just saying th- they don't trust the the record of the Filipinos who has a lot more wins and a lot more experience in different countries, or they just believe so much in their fighters that they want to test their fighters right away. Bobby, good morning. Good morning, pal. Melbourne is the ha in the house. Damn, is your hustle re- is here. I, 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 got an, I need to, man. Uh, I got a lot of expenses. I got a lot of expenses to pay. So, Morotalia uh, Valtiera, uh, it's round number three. A lot of expenses to pay. I just paid the tuition fee of my daughter. And it, it's, you know, <laughs> it's not cheap. Good morning, yeah, boss. Boom Boom Podcast. My undergird by the Pinoy Chaka Bukas. Today, there's none. Um, I, I think that we're watching the Komin event already. But tomorrow, we'll have uh, one Filipino fighting on the undercard of Ryan Garcia and uh, Javier Fortuna. That's going to be Vic Saludar against Colazzo. Sir Bob, salute. Javier Fortuna is a heavy underdog. Yes, sir. Although, you know, um, Bobby, I, I did a, a short. And maybe that guy who commented was a Fortuna fan. And uh, I, I was kind of saying that... Uh, Hey, um, there's no way that Ryan Garcia is going to win uh, here in this fight. Um, although Javier Fortuna has a very good left hook. I would, you know, I would be really ecstatic if Ryan Garcia uh, is to be defeated by Javier Fortuna. Then his stocks is really going to be, you know, going <laughs> to go down. So, But I don't think so. Tuition very expensive. Yes, sir. Shout out, Lods. Shout out, Edwin Sabay. Sabai Murataya that's how they they mention it and Murataya it's it, this is a, a dragging fight a slow fight very technical fight and uh, Murataya though is the aggressor he's, he's he's not taking any chance against Valtiera of Mexico the jab the double jab in the straight and uh, Valtiera just uh, making sure that he's not cornered here Thank you guys from a client's shout out. If you notice, I'm speaking in English. Uh, our coverage today is international boxing. I, I don't, again, Kabayan Kaposi Pelio. Oi, Del Mar Pelio. Shout out. I'm, I'm speaking in English today, bro. Uh, Edwin, uh, English ako kasi more on international boxing yung coverage natin. So let me see. Maybe we can uh, attract uh, international uh, boxing people. Uh, and tomorrow I might do a lot uh, you know, Majority English Let me see if how many Ryan Garcia fans Would be a, a new subscriber of Podcast Sports <laughs> But uh, you know the, the, the fight has been delayed Or if, if not delayed They were not showing the undercard um, And uh, of course I was looking at Boxrec In the US Boxrec is 
quick to update. You know, there I think there's a lot of uh, box rec editor in, in the US, so that's why they update the, the fight right away. But right now it's the uh, uh, co main event. So the co main event uh, between uh, Raymond Muratalia, remember the name, that name uh will probably be uh you know one of the names that will be talked about you know maybe um maybe in the next few months years or maybe after this fight he'll call in uh call uh ryan garcia is fighting tomorrow or chufimo lopez probably uh barboza uh again uh they're fighting in 100 uh, 30 40 pounds 140 pounds double vacant wbo intercontinental Super lightweight, okay, which means uh, Chufimo Lopez is moving to 140 pounds. So, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if Bob Arum suddenly, uh, you know, match them up uh, and uh, you know get them in in a fight. Ubus na mga pinoy natin na ito sino kaya ang muli nga angat sa ating bandera. Um, so, can Chris just ask uh, our Filipino champions or boxers or just uh, has been eliminated in the world stage? According to him, and he's asking who's next. But there you go for Moratalia, round number four. He's showing up here in this eight-round battle main event, a co-main event. Not, uh, you know, not uh, that of a big fight, but certainly something that I'm very interested to watch as a boxing fan. I want to know what happened here. There are a lot of people. Um, uh, Canon, uh, I've actually uh, created a. Um, a live where I talked about uh, the end of the era and then uh, talked about uh, the boxers that you should watch out uh, but you know there are boxers that are just in front of the door just waiting to come in into the global stage just waiting to be recognized and there are also boxers that are just you know uh, on the stairs and just uh, trying to get up get up and uh, there's there's a lot of uh, Filipinos so don't worry about it. It cycles like you know what uh, most of the statisticians uh, or the uh, analysts, and uh, you know maybe um, we have uh, people uh, advanced age watching this one. You know it, it comes. There comes a time, and even in boxing, there comes a time that boxing was the lull, and uh, not a lot of people talking about it uh, because th there were you know stagnant of stars. There's no no new faces, and uh, actually. For me, I'm very excited about boxing. And uh, again, this is round number four, watching uh, Moratalia and uh, Volterra as, as I speak to you guys. Hopefully, you're having a good morning. Um, I forgot to ask. Oh, oh, he's, he got shot. He's down. Oh my God, left hook. And he doesn't have his legs. He doesn't have his legs. Uh-oh, 56 seconds, round number four. That was fast. You need time, man. Oh. Muratali is about to finish this one. Give me a quick second, guys. And this is a long 40 seconds for Valtier, who got caught with the hook. And Muratali is showing up right now in round number four. The right straight, he doesn't st still doesn't have his legs. But the Mexican guy is too brave. And he is fighting fire with fire offense with offense, even though it's not good for him. That's the problem when you're too brave. You know, he got down. He got up he, with fierce eyes and he's battling uh, Muratalia, but he is getting the worst end. Oh, he still doesn't have the legs. He still doesn't have the legs, but he's fighting. He's fighting 10 seconds. My goodness, Valtiera fighting with all of his heart. This is why we love Mexican boxing. This is like, this is like uh, uh, they're like Filipino. Um, you know, when, when they get hit, they get braver and braver. Sometimes you call that, uh, there's a thin line between bravery and stupidity. But nonetheless, sometimes it's, it's fun to watch. But you're putting yourself at risk, not 100% recovered yet. But Baltier was down. And he was shaking. He was like dancing footloose, man. Yeah, maybe, maybe I should give you a, a much more modern uh, reference. I don't know. Let, let me see the, the highlight here, the, the replay. Boom, left hook. And the, late, the little bit delay reaction. He lost his right leg. And face down. Boom, shaking the head. And there you go with the La Bamba. And he is down. 
Hit like and share, subscribe guys, support the Pound for Pound King channel. Okay, Jollywood, salamat. Say what? Hey, hey, good morning, sir. Boom, boom, pow. GD, what's up, bro? What's up, guys? We're watching international boxing. Raymond Moratalia, boxing prospect, just put down Jer Voltiera. And uh, they're giving uh, some warning. Voltaire's legs is not 100%. And Raymond Moratalia, let's see if he wants to finish this guy. Round number five, only scheduled for eight rounds. Moratalia on a hunting mode. Again, got hit right there. And Voltaire is not winning this fight. 5% against 51% punch stats in the last round. That's overwhelming for a guy uh, who has 16 wins and only one defeat against 14 wins with no defeat. This is why I'm telling you guys. No, um... You know, boxing record today, you know, uh, you know, we see who's the, the real deal and uh, those that are fakers, those that are padding their records because we know who's good. We know who's good, you know, but we also know who's a prospect, right? And that we're waiting for them to prove themselves. But right now, between these two fights, we definitely know that the 14 oh undefeated fighter, Muratalia, is better at least so far let's see one thing i can tell you though that uh valtiera is just brave the mexican fighter again does still doesn't have the legs after that four punch combination in the head referees looking closely and he is attacking a yeah, jab to the body jab to the head another hook and he is just trying to make sure that uh muratalia know that i'm still here bro i'm still here Pau Salud, Pau Sports, watching this from outside the country. I'm a Filipino boxing blogger. If you wanted to subscribe and you want to learn more about Filipino boxing, we do a lot of a commentary discussion about boxing on the international level, on the local level. You know, and you want to learn more about up uprising Filipino boxing prospect, this is the channel for you. Basao, sino lamang Muratalia? Muratalia is definitely down. Maybe 4-0, man. Maybe 4-0. And then, then the last round, the fourth round, that was a 10-8 round. Thank you, Ariel Tinorio. Kaiser, though, uh, better round than the last round. We got caught that, uh, that round. Glad to be giving you this uh, morning podcast. Mor mor morning discussion about boxing. But yesterday, I missed the uh, Gilas Pilipinas versus Lebanon fight. Uh, fight or game game because I'm also a fan of basketball, you know, I, I just need to uh, better schedule my, my myself and uh, I got to uh, I get to focus sometimes on basketball I, and I forget uh, what's happening in in, uh, in the other sports that I like and this this fight was delayed I, I was I, I I searched and I was looking maybe there's a UFC fight maybe there's a UFC fight uh, and we're and boxing is waiting because I've seen that happen time and again that boxing is waiting for UFC to finish before they start their event. And that's a shame. Uh, but in the US, UFC is gaining a lot of attention, a lot of uh, favor uh, as compared to boxing. And that's why, you know, whether you like it or not, in my, per my opinion on the matter of, uh, of the YouTubers, uh, boxers fighting in, in boxing, like Jake Paul, he is doing boxing a favor. He is doing boxing a favor. Um, uh, Voltaire was down. Oh, okay. Is there a Gilas Filipinas game today? Oh, no, no, no. That was uh, yesterday. Uh, India, I'm sorry. India, we won against India. Yesterday. Oh, well, that's enough. If we lose against India, man, there will be a revolution. Jodrix. If the Philippine basketball team lose against india uh, there'll be a revolution lebanon i mean they're good you know but you know we're supposed to defeat them as well you know so so here we go great win against uh dalsim <laughs> how are you good morning good morning 
ang oras na ito ay hatid sa inyo ng Podcast Sports. Update the boxing after this one, round number 6 of 8. I'll be Jumel, I'll be doing uh, quick updates on boxing, what's happening in boxing, local and international level, Philippines and uh, the, the global stage of boxing. But right now, it's round number 6 between um, the boxing prospects, Moratalia and uh, Valtiera. Uh, and so far, in round uh, in five round, it was uh, it is uh, all Moratalia. Uh, Valtiera was down in round number four. Support Powercast Sports by buying and ordering uh, Shopee. Uh, I was told by my partner, Sir, we don't have any sales today. So please, uh, order 250 PHP on Shopee, only available in the Philippines. May I know if there's anyone aside from the regulars? Don't be shy. I, I really wanted to know if there's anyone new that's watching for the first time uh podcast sports i you know uh, for these kinds of topics i don't know how if we're gonna get uh new people to watch or to listen but mostly i think most of you guys are, are you know has been here I, i mean have watched me do commentaries uh but are there any new ones well was gonna say you made it if your name is part of the survey haha <laughs> marty <laughs> i know brand and shirt gamit mo boss pal Uh, good brand. <laughs> it's not me who's making them. Um, I have a partner that makes them, and uh, it's good quality. It's not this one. This one is uh, limited. 250 pesos. Uh, th- but it's not this one though. It's the the simple version. Uh, that's what I'm selling because this one's too expensive. Uh, and I I don't know if I can sell it. This one is what I'm uh selling on Shopee. Just go ahead and buy Marty. You know, it doesn't matter what brand of shirt. What matter is the brand of logo in front of it and the support that you're giving Pauka Sports. Marty, come on, man. Just one shirt, it wouldn't hurt. <laughs> you gotta buy one. You gotta show me, man. You gotta show me in one of my live. It can reach the vow. You know that, right? Shopee reaches the vow. <laughs> Ten seconds, round number six. I want to ask guys because um, I have here on the side uh, support us join Pakas membership and then buy Pakas merch on Shopee. Don't you guys see the the commercial there or uh, can you read it or it does it make sense that I just you know I just remove it? Jay, hello. I heard I I, I didn't win. I don't because uh, I don't type those channels anymore. Not going that street of <laughs> uh, Romy. Right now, no, probably no chance. Maybe by a knockout. Uh, but if this goes to a decision, brother Jumel, uh, I think Valtiera is gonna end up losing. Uh, Lahat eh. Yo, 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 I'm back Am I back? <laughs> Am I back, guys? Uh, Am I back? Am I back? Am I, I'm gonna refresh this one uh, Powercast Sports will order soon Pao, hanap ako ng size ko Come on uh, I think you're small no. <laughs> Medium, medium, small I'm using medium uh, I'm 5'7 So and uh, I have big tummy, so you know maybe we're the same size. If you want to be safe, go for large. I'm waiting for the the hats, so it's swaggy. I need those hat with the shirt. Okay, I will I will tell the uh, partner uh, to uh, look for the uh, a source for a manufacturer for a good hat. I'm more interested in purchasing the net cap, Pauka Sports. Okay. Okay. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Um, I'm trying to get a, a good one, you know, the high quality one, but it's gonna be more expensive than the shirt. Funny, no? <laughs> the cap was smaller than the shirt, but it's harder to do a cap, I think. So round seven, uh, Muratalia versus Valteria. Hope, hopefully, I keeping you company in the morning. Good morning, guys. Have you got your coffee? Uh, maybe after this, we'll talk about um, what happened to the shirt design contest. 
Thank you for reminding me. I should do that now. So I could have that. Um, I could have that by uh, or have that manufactured uh, during the holidays, right? We'll talk about it. Uh, I, I'm, I'm going to put that now on my notes. Too much, too many things going on, man. Too many things going on. It's hard to be a, you know, to business and uh, <laughs> t-shirt uh, design contest. Let's do that. You see, bro, everyone likes the, those hats. Not this one. This one is not good quality at all. This was look at the logo. It's the the old design, the old uh, logo of Powercast Sports, where the star is still uh, like separated from the name itself. T-shirt and drive it, Pang Jag. Ha. Yes, sir. This is right fit. Thank you, thank you, guys. I appreciate your comment uh, and uh, and I appreciate uh, the understanding on some of the things that we may not see eye to eye. Or breathe nose to nose, or taste lips. To, uh, no, I'm not gonna go there. <laughs> Muratalia versus Valtiera, round number seven. Th this guy Muratalia is very. Um, uh, uh, how how do you call that? Well, what should I say? Uh, he he fight like he fight like a veteran. He doesn't overcommit. Very controlled, uh, not overcommitting to anything, not uh, forcing. Uh, I actually have a double XL. I uh, I think we have a double XL, but it's limited. <laughs> guys, the comments just dominated by you guys. How about the others? I got 81 people on Facebook. Maybe we could do a shout out. Let's do a shout out, guys. And uh, on Facebook, uh, on YouTube, it's only 33. Oh my goodness. What's happening? Now, this is where you, you know that, um, power that uh, my followers are <laughs> majority of them casuals. <laughs> Or Filipino boxing fans, because this is not uh, local boxing. So maybe if it's a international uh, local boxing, maybe you know we'll have a lot more followers uh, watching. So maybe I should do a commentary of a boxing fight that's happening today in Cebu. I just don't know where to uh, if what time. I think this afternoon. Let me see if I could uh, you know watch that. I don't usually do commentary for Filipino if it's already in the Philippines. But uh, we'll see what we can do. Uh, round number eight. This is the final round. After this one will be the Barbosa versus Urilia fight. So that's the fight that we're going to be uh, fully uh, focused to commentate. A lot of silent viewers. Watching from Texas. How are you doing, sir? How you doing? Uh, Filipino boxing blogger. You know, and, uh, you know, we like to talk about a lot of different stuff. <laughs> About boxing, about Filipino boxing, about international boxing. Uh, so yeah, glad that you're here. Most of yourselves only know one fighter. We all know who that is. I know who that is. Manny Pacquiao. Mart. <laughs> Manny Pacquiao. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Good counter again by Muratalia. Not not that exciting, uh, because uh, again Muratalia is just. Uh, I'm trying to look for that term. No, I, watching from San Francisco, Mar uh, Mart Lou uh, Balisi. Thank you so much. Patagalog naman. I am nosebleed. You sir, pal. <laughs> Ray, was a bell mercader, and I, I will read it in Tagalog. But uh, you know, I have to. Um, Push through with speaking in English today. There's no Filipino fighting on the on the undercard, uh, so and, you know we're trying to go global, man. Bisaya in, uh, but in Texas, lol. Ah, <laughs> bisaya ka, kana bisaya. Ah, ambut. <laughs> Maging tanghali bay. Morning idol pao kagising ko lang idol teen man. Good morning, 
We're doing a commentary of a boxing event promoted by ESPN Top Rank Pro Boxing Promotions, headlined by Barboza and uh, Zorilla. And uh, most of my fans will ask me, "Hmm, are there any Filipino there?" No, maybe Filipino blogger watching and commenting. That's me, and maybe Filipino fans watching on the card. That will be me if I'm in the U.S. You know. You know, I'm open to being adopted by anyone who's rich in the U.S. And I'll just do my uh, coverage there. <laughs> so I, I'll compete against Fight Hype and Fight Hub. Uh, Sir Paul Colazzo versus Saludar. Malaki odds ni Saludar. May chance ba siya? Times 4.5. That's the thing. I do not know. Ellis, it's hard. I've, I've seen uh, Colazzo. He's fast. But then again, I, I uh, Elvis... Um, I'm uh, I'm kind of like upset and uh, what's that upheld by on or uh, uphold? Parang uh, you know I, I couldn't believe that they're matching a seasoned, experienced guy like Vic Salador against a four zero guys. So I would say maybe yes, maybe not too much. Bet something, but not too much. <laughs> not too much, and don't forget to send me something if you win. If you lose. <laughs> uh, but you gotta remember, guys. Here's the thing: when when a boxer gets invited uh, to fight uh, outside of their promotion, they're most probably going to be the underdog. They're most probably uh, going to be the underdog. Wagpo now. Wapo na luhuman moralta. Uh, it's not coffee, guys. I already uh, had my serving. I can only have one because if I have more than one coffee, I it's it's sometimes I couldn't sleep. Uh, and um, none unless it's Starbucks or Seattle's best. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <clears throat> uh, or my heart palpitates uh, try, trying to uh, avoid too much coffee but just uh, couldn't live with it without a day uh, so maybe we could talk about uh, boxing updates now because it's commercial <clears throat> so let's go to my ever reliable uh, Feedly and uh, I'm gonna go uh, sort this one to boxing and we could start talking about boxing news. I get out. Uh, Pachanga. Let's go back to the next Okay. <laughs> Lana though, it's gonna be really uh Moratal is gonna win this one. So have you seen Garcia for two no way in? Uh yes sir. <coughs> Interesting. Hi pa ka mukha mula si Chino, Chino Maidana. <laughs> I mean di pa ba natapos yung fight ni Volt. Uh now, yes, it's done. Let me just wait for the decision. Baka 8-0 to eh. I was right. 80-71. It was out box. He was down. And Raymond Moratalia wins this one in an uneventful uh, boxing match. Uh, Alright. Let's go ahead and do... Uh, my boxing news uh, segment. <laughs> Alright, good morning po Pilipinas. Pao salute, pao ka sports. As we wait for the main event uh, between ba Barboza 
And of course, his opponent, uh, Zorilia. We're gonna talk about boxing update and boxing and other sports. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. At uh, today is July 16. And uh, I'm gonna talk to you about what's happening in the world of sports. And this is a big one as our headline, Spence versus Crawford. There's a lot of talks about this, uh, you know, in the past ma- months, I mean, you know, even the past years, as we wanted to see this fight. And it looks like, again, with, uh, with my statement, it looks like. I'm not saying it's gonna happen, but it looks like it's gonna happen in November in Las Vegas. And let me go ahead and read to you a few things that's uh, on this one. This is from Boxing News uh, 24-7, written, written by Jeff Sorby. As uh, always, I'm just going to read the first paragraph. Errol the Truth Spence Jr. versus Ter- Terrence Bud Crawford, welterweight undisputed clash in the works for November in Las Vegas. Not the first time I heard about it, though. Not the first time. So um, I, I would like it to happen, but... Uh, it's fine if it doesn't happen. <laughs> ESPN is reporting that Spence Crawford, undisputed 147-pound championship championship, has no real obstacles blocking it from happening in November. Of course, we've heard the fight was close many times over the last few months, so you gotta take a wait and see approach to Spence versus Crawford. And exactly what my sentiment is. So let's talk a little bit more about this, okay? So, uh, again, um, this fight, it's one of the fight that uh, we wanted to see. One of the fight that, uh, uh, let me just go ahead and put this here real quick, okay? Uh, boxing news break. Boxing news break. So we get to update ourselves while we wait for the main event, okay? So, uh, you know, we've been wanting this. We've been waiting for this. We were hoping Manny Pacquiao could fight either one of these guys. It didn't happen. Uh, but at least they're fighting each other, which is, the, you know, so to truly determine who's the who's the who's in the division. And even Mike Coppinger is uh, reporting that it could happen. So hopefully it happens. Garcia Fortuna waits Saturday. So... Um, uh, one of my followers, uh, Marty, I, I think, was it Marty who asked me if I saw, I saw the videos, I saw the highlights, I didn't uh, see the complete thing, and uh, I saw a lot of people updating the, the way in, so I think they made weight, uh, including Vic Saludar, I saw, he's uh, a little bit below the, the division, uh, the, the weight of 100, uh, what was the weight again, uh, 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 I think the the weight is a hundred five, uh, also less than that, uh, one hundred four. Ex UFC champion linked to potential five million boxing match. Who is this? Blind item from Heavy dot com, uh, but there's a photo. UFC superstar Robert Bittaker in talks with newly crowned boxing cruiserweight champion Jai Opitaya for a crossover fight. Oh oh. So the the thumbnail is misleading, uh, but he's talking about uh, Robert Whitaker uh, doing uh, a crossover fight against Jayo Pataya. See what I'm saying here? You know the the real issue with boxing is not the sport itself; it's uh, it's the matchups. Uh, but the money is in boxing still. Why why would uh, why would MMA fighters fight in boxing? So once you establish your name in boxing, because uh, in boxing, um, you start really low. Unlike in MMA, I mean, uh, uh, at least, you know, there's a better uh, uh, salary even if you're at mid-range. But, you know, the, the difference only between boxing and MMA, uh, from what I know, again, is that uh, when you're really up there, when you're popular, you know, you don't get as much as the, the boxing stars. Okay, so, you know, ex-UFC fighter. Uh, let me go ahead and read a quick comment here. Sir Paul, come on. Okay, I read it. Spence uh, Crawford Talks has been going for years. Di ako nakaka-alis po tong channel unless, unless announcement. I believe it. Verboza, shout out. Salamat, uh, tenant, salam, alaga. 
Feel good today, Spencer Crawford. My ads na nga eh. Uh, there has been an ads for a long time. Shout out, uh, Pessy uh, Operations. Uh, thank you. Uh, Pessy ba yan? Pessy Operation? What's that? Is Connor Seaman retired? I'm not sure, man. <laughs> I don't really know. Ray John Jimawas, 50 pesos again. Uh, makakaipong ka na sa akin, ha? War- warning lads watching from all Alfonso Cavite. Alright, let's continue with the uh, discussions. True boxing putting Pueblo map. Okay, Deputy Prime Minister Dominican uh, Rab shares lifelong. Okay, shadow boxing. Good job, boxing unification. The fights have be, uh, best fighting in, in the best. Perfect, good. Ryan Garcia explained why Jake Poke and the right so far up ranking. These guys have been boxing their whole lives. Okay, criticism against each other. Oh, uh, this one I wanted to see. Pay-per-view uh, industry punches up boxing schedule for second half of 2002. And I want to see those fights. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Huh? Okay. So July 16, um, $34.99. That's the Javier Fortuna fight. Uh, Ryan Garcia. In August, Jake Paul is fighting Raman. Uh, August 2020, uh, and then uh, who else? Golovkin, September. Canelo Alvarez Golovkin. So and then there's a Andrew Ruiz fight. Okay. Argentine, some boxing Argentine Olympian. What else do we have here? And wait in result. Uh, it was the earlier today. This was earlier today. Uh, again, courtesy of Bad Left Hook. Ryan Garcia. Uh, Ryan Garcia, have you ever made the wait earlier today? Los Angeles Saturday night. The zone main event is now set. One minor surprise may be that fight is going to be at 140 pounds, not 135. While Golden Boy are now listing Garcia as super lightweight contender in release. It should be noted that uh, as recently as last week, we were calling it lightweight bout. Uh huh. But uh, they're good for Saturday with Garcia, 22, weighing in 140 pounds, and Javier Fortuna, 139.8. Actually, um, l- let me just uh, say this. Um, even Javier Fortuna was requesting for it to be 140 because they only have seven weeks uh, to prepare for the fight. Pabor ng salamin mo. Hindi ko makikita. <laughs> Wind farm, boss pal. Wow. Salamat. What a bo- what a, when a boxer or a fighter says he retired, it's more likely on a break. <laughs> CSC Raman Jr. doesn't sound confident when he speaks. Ewan ko pong matatalo na naman. I think he's gonna lose though. Commercial lang pa. Mexican uh, drug kingpin Rafael Quintero wanted 1985 killing a U.S. anti-narcotics agent has been detained in Mexico finally. There you go. You're learning because you know that I'm into this kind of stuff right now. General uh, knowledge and current events. This is what could make. Uh, so I could uh, talk about other topics, just, not just boxing, right? And Marty, I'm happy that uh, you're a part of this show. You're watching, so thank you so much, bro. Um, again, uh, one one other big uh, other big news today is that uh, Chufima Lopez is also moving to 140 pounds. Everyone moving to 140 pounds. Um, let me see if I, uh, I can uh, sh- uh, go with other news. MMA. Oh, ESPN Plus to raise price 43% start. In- oh my God. That's the pressure on ESPN. ESPN is going to raise price uh, in August. And that's the most popular one. UFC President Dana White photo by Chris Unger. Soon it will cost more to, to be a full-time UFC fan. MMA fighting Damon Martin confirmed with sources with knowledge of the news that cost of subscription uh, to ESPN Plus. The home of UFC programming will soon be up by 43% beginning August 23, which means jump from 699 to 9.99 a month. All right, it's so expensive to be a sports fan. 
Uh, we're we're still waiting for the Barboza fight. So so that's it. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, look for the uh, NBA. Sixer star Terrence Maxey back in the gym with superstar LeBron James. Winners Nets prefers to keep Durant because of the underwhelming, uh, underwhelming trade offers. LeBron says he dislikes playing in Boston because Celtics fans are racist as... <laughs> Is Wayne Wright two pointers versus Sacramento? Okay, so let me also show you um, something here. Uh, again, guys, we're waiting for the main event. So they've been dragging this for quite some time, but uh, hopefully we'll see the main event. Uh, let me show you my website. Okay. Samson boxing sign Argentinian Olympian uh, undefeated professional with puncher Mirko Coelho into a promotional contract. Uh, and then, of course, there's an update about uh, don't be surprised if I knock, out, I knock him out. Uh, Gary Antoine Russell fighting uh, Francis Vertelemy. Donny Nietes, we got some update to Donny Nietes. I forgot. I'm, I'm actually. Uh, going to do a quick uh, commentary on Donny Nietes too. Donny Nietes. After this one, um, Donny Nietes eyes new world title bid after frustrating Kazuto Ayoka defeat. Okay, so Donny Nietes still wants to fight. Los Angeles, July 15. Donny Nietes will shake off his disappointment of his world title defeat uh, uh, to Kazuto Ayoka and rebuild towards another uh, another shot at the super flyweight crown. Nietes was trying to reclaim the WBO World Junior Bantamweight title in Tokyo Wednesday night but was defeated on the scorecard with all three uh, ringside judges awarding the fight to Ayoka. I'm going to forward this uh, to the uh, coach if Donny Nietes have some codes here. But uh, again, the score was 120-108. That's a shame. I don't know why. I, was, I scored it, I think, 116-112. Uh, but I'm a Filipino. Obviously, you would say I'm... Uh, kind of biased for the Filipino but nonetheless that's how I saw it 118 110 117 111 uh, 40 years old and um, let me uh, read the quotes according to Donny Nietes I lost the fight on points and I felt Ayoka did not want to try and deliver a knockout win for his fans and was just happy to win the fight on the scorecard I was not able to put as much pressure on Ayoka as I would have liked I was waiting for Ayoka to move in and throw his shot so that I could hit him with a, my big counters, but that, but it didn't happen often enough. I was defeated, but without question, I can still fight for the world title again. Nietes was not only bidding to win back the WBO title he vacated, but also to join an exclusive list of fighters who have won world titles in their 40s. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind that I can challenge once again and I see myself probably having one or two more fights at the world level before I hang up my, uh, my gloves inside the ring. So, Nietes will not retire and he will continue to fight. Alright? So, what else? Uh, what else is on the headline? Troy Williamson urges Josh Kelly to agree to a huge British title fight. And uh, Pedraza Comey. So this is uh, my website, guys. So this is where I uh, uh, upload a lot of things. So you, you can sort it uh, by boxing. And uh, you see all of the boxing uh, content. You can sort it by MMA. Obviously, it's not that updated. Uh, it's all one championship because one championship is the one sending me PR. And basketball, I don't know how far. What's the most updated? Yeah, need to be updated. I, I need to be really working on, on basketball as well because that's where we have a lot of viewers as, as well, uh, our fans. So, there you go. So, that is that. Okay. And... Uh, we're wait, we're waiting for the uh, the fight to start.
Um, let's uh, talk about the upcoming fight. A lot of commercials. A lot of commercials right now. This is like Filipino <laughs> uh, channels with uh, their commercials. Uh, I hope he just will eye on investing business to set him up for, for life rather than next bout with all due respect. Marty has businesses, man. He does have businesses. So I don't think you gotta have worry about that. Sometimes when people have uh, once has a lot of fire and a lot of passion, it's just really too uh, hard to get out of the, the, the things that they love the most. <laughs> Me, even if I don't feel good, uh, you know, I have, uh, I'm a little bit under the weather, it doesn't matter. If you love what you're doing, you don't get tired doing it. Uh, and if you love what you're doing, you're just never gonna give up until you, you reach your goals. And um, you, know, you know, that's something that I actually looked up to uh, uh, Donny Nietes. Um, he, he has the passion. He wants to keep walking like Johnny Walker. Mag, ma, pe, baka siguro magpagawa na rin tayo ng Paukas Mag, no? Maganda yata, no? Or mas maganda kung Beer Mug. Beer Mug. No? Kelvin, salamat. Uh, salamat po. Possible. Uh, pabili Paukas Mag. Wala po eh. Is that a new shirt, Paul? I think I want that t-shirt of yours. Oh, no, it's not a new shirt. This is limited. This is very limited. Um, I, I want to show you something. Um, yung, uh, a, a picture. Ito yung picture na binigay ko kay... Uh, ito yung uh, t-shirt na binigay ko kay Pacquiao. So, only limited uh, boxers has this because uh, costing nito 700 ng hagad eh. Yung uh, single sa akin ng gumawa. So, pag binento ko to 800, wala nang bibili. So, I, I'm, and plus, gusto ko medyo mas simple kasi masyadong marami. Pang ano to, parang pang... Uh, but I, I could do this, so siguro pag, mga, pag mag-sponsor ako ng fighters, uh, ng t-shirt. Parang gusto ko na mag-sponsor ng ano eh, t-shirt ng ano eh, ng fighters eh. Um, we'll see, we'll see. Um, we'll see, no? Uh, at ayoko nang may, gusto ko ako yung namimili <laughs> ng fighters. Dry fit yan. Dry fit din to. A beer bag now. That I'll buy. This is not a new shirt. Dry fit po. It's not a new shirt. May black version ito. May red version. Um, pinagay ko. Ito yung panahon na ayos pa kami na Casimero. Si Casimero meron nito. Hindi, hindi, hindi niya sinusuot. Si Jason Casimero din. Si John Rell. Lahat ng team Casimero na original na team Manila. Lahat meron nito. Pati si na Lontaya o the David si na ano lahat lahat po meron ito. So I don't know kung saan nila ilalagay kung sinusot ba nila but lahat po sila meron yan. Uh, they have uh, uh, you know they have it. So here we go um Barboza and uh Zurilla is next. Uh, they're doing the ring walk right now so let's go ahead and uh, focus on that one. Zuria is uh, how they're saying it. So, uh, nip yung, uh, the uh, introductions. Then you lead to Zuria. It's happening, guys. It's happening. This is the main event. Uh, Danielito Zurilia now uh, inside the ring. He is called El Zorro. Uh, and he is 5'9", big guy in the 140-pound division from uh, Toa, Baja, Puerto Rico. And uh, he has fought guys like uh, Ruslan Majev. Pablo Cesar uh, Cano, uh, those are the the guys on uh, and his resume that are uh, probably the highlights so far of his resume. And uh, Arnold Barboza Jr. could be if he wins this one, uh, he's undefeated. If he wins this one, uh, 16 and 0. If he wins this one, then 
uh, you know, Barboza could be uh, a good uh, part of his resume. Let's talk about Barboza. Barboza Jr., 26 wins, 10 of the wins coming by knockout. So, you know, it looks like this is going to be a 12-round fight. 5-9 uh, also from Los Angeles, California, but I'm sure his heritage is uh, Latino by his looks. Uh, and uh, his fought uh, guys like uh, Antonio Moran and Alex uh, Saucedo. And those are actually the last two fights, four-star fights. And uh, all ended uh, in a unanimous decision. Uh, in his last fight, he uh, acquired the WBO International Super Lightweight title. I'm more interested in the beer mug than this fight. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm learning, guys. Uh, so I would like, uh, I would like you to join me as I learned about this fight. After this one, I'm gonna do quick lives about uh, Doni Nietes and uh, and uh, no, I'm just gonna do something. Um, I still need to figure this out. Barboza with a Mexican flag, as expected, it is from uh, heritage, Mexican heritage. This is boxing. This is top rank. Mr. Bob Aaron, Patrick Ortiz. This is the, the main event, guys. So it's it's happening right now. So hold on to your seats. As I bring to you this action, uh, and uh, let's see, uh, let's see what happened here. Mike Millsap, timekeeper. Doctor Lou Moret. Let me do this. This bout is scheduled for 10 rounds. 10 rounds of boxing, guys. And now, Mike, Mike, Mike Chanuk. From Pechanga Resorts and Casino, Temecula, California, USA. This is the main event. Parang, sino yung nasa tabi? Who, who's beside uh, uh, Danielito Zurilia? Daniel, Danielito Zurilia, 16 fights, 28 years old, uh, undefeated opponents, 3 and 0, 7 KOs in the last 10 fights. Oh, so maybe this guy has a better knockout percentage. That guy is a boxer. I just couldn't figure out who, uh, who he, he is. Puerto Rico versus Mexico. Uh, Arnold Barboza Jr., 26 win, 10 net knockouts from uh, sound, uh, South El Monte, California. ESPN ranked number 6. Junior Walter Wade, first time facing an undefeated opponent. Last fight at, against Antonio Moran. Beside him and Michael J. White, uh, the guys who played Spawn. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay. So here we go. Let's see how good these boxers are. Uh, they, Danielito Zurilia. Maybe we can uh, put up a knockout. I would rather see that than see it long, uh, you know. Dragon boxing match round number one. Um, Surilia. Surya. In the, the black and navy blue. And Arnold uh, Barboza Jr. in uh, teal uh, trunks and uh, gloves. Mm hmm. This is round number one. So I I I I, uh, I think we're gonna see a lot a lot of boxing in this fight. Uh, this is only ten rounds, so. But uh, let me see uh, the skills of uh, Barboza Jr. You know, um, we have been talking about in this channel about uh, boxing has evolved uh, from the from the times where you know everyone wants to see brawl. You know, it was exciting fights. Now boxers wants to win and doesn't want to get hurt. Doesn't want to. Most of them doesn't want to engage that much. Uh, so it's becoming more of a science, at least for most. And a lot of people uh, hate that because, you know, um, there are more talks. There are more trash talks than the actual fight itself. But for this fight, I, I would say Barboza Jr. Um, you know, I, I never, I've, I've not heard of them uh, trash talking, uh, mainly because I didn't really watch the press conference. <laughs> Boom, right hand over Surilia. Zuriya, good right hand. If there's anyone that can knock out someone here, it's probably Zuriya. Uh, and Barboza, though, if if this goes the distance, Barboza may have an edge. Uh, good morning, Sir Pao. Sana walang talks sa comment section mo, Sir Pao. No, 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 no. This is uh, the conversation is too hardcore for a lot of casual fans to be here. Here we go. Hold on to your seats. You might fell off because the fight is a snoozer. Jokla, <laughs> streamyard link. No, I'm not uh, having any guests uh, today, uh, Chris K. So, combination by Barboza, the three punch combination, very good to look at. Again, we should watch out for the counter of uh, Zuria, Surilia, and the crowd shouting at Temecula, California. So, this is, uh, I think, Barboza's home, home turf. Body shot and good shot bo by uh, Barboza. 140 pound. These guys are the same weights now as uh, Ryan Garcia and uh, Chufimo Lopez. So they're moving to 140 pounds. The counter right hand, I've been seeing that. And that's it. So round number one. Uh... Close one, maybe Barboza. Round number two. How you guys doing? How are you guys? <laughs> yo, yo, yo. So I like this one. Uh, they're doing commercial on the side, uh, and uh, we're still seeing what's happening inside the ring. So I think that's that's a bit be that's better. Okay. Here we go. Round number two. Twenty-eight percent for Barboza, eleven percent uh, total punch stats uh, for Zuridia. Very active on the jabs, uh, Barboza. And uh, the crowd uh, shouting, "Let's go, Arnold!" 
and Arnold Barboza trying to be more active in this fight. So really, uh, the counter right hand, again, he has a better uh, knockout percentage. So um, I guess the, we could say that if this goes to a, the, you know, if there's anyone the, who win by knockout, probably Zorilia now Pustakada. No, 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 I'm not betting. If they're also doing commercial, you can also show us a bit. <laughs> uh, as much as I want to, man, I've tried it so uh, before. No, not gonna risk it. Round number two right now. About boxing, a lot of boxing happening, a lot of timing by Barboza, a lot of jabs. It doesn't matter, Rika. Uh, let's let's just say I'm uh, trying to ver favor my commentary against uh, Zorilia. Let's just say, for example, now or in any fights, I'm trying to favor someone. It it will not affect the decision. You know, it will not uh, change the result. I'm, um, even though I was inside the, uh, I, I'm gonna be inside there. It doesn't it doesn't change. So I'm not in any way. Uh, uh, gonna change your effect or even uh, influence the decision of the fight although I could influence you because you're probably not watching or you're probably just listening to me but it's really I mean it doesn't uh, I don't I uh, that's how I see it uh, the exchange right now that was a very good action pack uh, sequence uh, the right straight the uh, for Zurilla and then a lot of punches by, by uh, Barboza Barboza, the better boxer of the two so far. And uh, Barboza exchanging. Very good. Very good action pack fight, actually. Uh, at least on this sequence and this round. And Zorilla just really tr moving forward, pushing the right hand. The right straight. Good right straight again. Good counter combination. Oh, good left hand. And. Uh, my goodness, Barboza got hit there. Good round number two. Not a snoozer, but that's gonna go to Barboza. <laughs> round number three. Round number three is upon us right now. Thank you so much, guys. Not a lot of people watching. So it's, it's time for you to just comment your shout outs. The right straight counter a la Floyd Mayweather. And then uh, the left hook. Uppercut. Nice. On the nose. Round number three. Uh, so far I gave uh, to Barboza. You think? You think? <coughs> Barboza will end the fight via knockout. <coughs> it's... I don't know about that, but let's see. If if Zorilia continues to attack the way he's doing and continue to expose himself, then maybe. But uh, nonetheless, I I, I I think Barboza may have uh maybe may have the the edge in this fight. He he punches more, he lands more, and uh, his uh, is more active in his punch. Although the right hand is just right there, so watch out for that right hand uh, from Zorilia. Syria. And it's, uh, he has a clitoris gloves. You know, that's a puncher's glo gloves. Everlast is what uh, Barboza is wearing. Frank, uh, Angus, uh, Angus the Travel. Where are you from, bro? You, you Filipino, bro? Right? And Barboza, again, combination starting with the body, mixing it up with the head. There you go. One, two, three, punch counter right straight. 
Uh, so that yeah, the, the, here's the thing, though. Um, the first three rounds, you know, Barboza um, is getting hit with uh, with uh, the right straight. You know, he's he's touching Barboza. Barboza is exchanging, but uh, the the longer this fight goes, if that's all Zuriya is gonna offer, then uh, Barboza may be able to adjust on that one. From Tanzania, bro. Oh, I. On July 30, we have a Tanzania boxer visiting the Philippines named Charles Tondo. And he's fighting one of our boxing prospects uh, named Carl Hamis Martin, the Wonder Boy. So he's going to get into a lot of work with uh, Wonder Boy, who's, who's, who fights like Manny uh, in the reference to volume punching. Now, I'm not comparing him. Yeah, I know guys are gonna say no, no one's like Manny. No, I'm just saying so you get a picture that he's a um, a combination puncher. The other time I invited you to come climb Mount. Uh, oh yeah, Frank, what's up, Frank? Just so many, so, so many viewers of Powercast Sports T today. It's actually very dry on my on my comment because uh barboza is really is not that popular here in the philippines and you know obviously i got maybe 80 percent of my followers uh filipino uh but thank you very much frank round number uh, three still goes to barboza this is uh junior welterweight or super lightweight 140 pound division the battle of the 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 guys that's in front of the door knocking in on the championship um so on the corner who says jesus lopez jr jose de la torres jesus lopez senior so let's let, let's look at the uh, uh rankings in the junior um welterweight division or the super lightweight so josh taylor uh, has vacated the wbc and wba uh, Jose Cepeda is there. So there's a vacant WBC and WBA uh, title, right? And they're fighting for the WBO Intercontinental Super Lightweight. Um, Barboza, 140. Arnold is number 8. Cerulea is number 10 uh, in the WBO. So this guy, could, this guys could be uh, knocking on the door. A four world title soon. Marboza Jr. Zorilia. The combination. Very, very active hands for uh, Barboza Jr. 24% percentage against 15%. Good body shot. Left hook. Oh, yeah. That's what that was a left hook. Again, one, two, three combination for Barboza. Looking a lot uh, bigger here, bulkier than uh, Zorilia. And look, good counter hands. My goodness. Barboza showing up his boxing skill. Round number four, guys. This is round number four. We may have found jaw tricks. <laughs> Another jab. Uh, and Zorilia. Getting out box so far, round number four. He needs to do something here. He needs to, uh, um, well, right now, maybe he could still do whatever he's doing. But uh, uh, round number four, uh, maybe round number five, I make um, uh, early adjustment for uh, Zorilia. Because Barboza is just outboxing him. Just outworking him, outboxing him, a lot of jabs, a lot of combination. And uh, Zorilia just, you know, doesn't have much to offer really. Lead right hand. Good counter left though. Good counter left. And uh, Barbosa com coming back right away. Every time that there's a, an opportunity or a good uh, punch from Zorilla, Barbosa coming in there. And uh, Barboza punching with bad intention. Maybe he does want to look for a knockout. Again, jab, jab, straight. Um, the way Barboza is fighting here, you know, he might just get uh, a knockdown or something. There you go. 
and uh, Zerilia. I actually the the feet of Zerilia. I I don't. It's like awkward. The the right hand, the right feet, the right leg. I mean, look look at how he twists his uh, right hand. The right the leg. I mean, the jab again. There you go. Good body shot by Zerilia. Power one. There you go. Come back right away by Barboza. That's why it's hard to score the the round again uh, for uh, Zuria because um, Barbosa is coming back every time, every time, just every time. <laughs> uh, so it's Barbosa. Round number five. Halfway now. John Patrick Magat. John Magat, what's up, brah? How you doing? Let me see who's uh, watching on Facebook. Maybe they're share or... Arriba, arriba, arriba! Mahirap naman kasi pag punching with good intention po. <laughs> uh, so Marty, Marty, uh, give me something like reaction or uh, things that I could say as a, as a commentator. Like uh, all the synonyms that I could use, like the funny one or the interesting one or the weird one or, you know, something that uh, would would stick to the fans, like, like uh, in basketball, mama, there goes mom, <laughs> that man, something like that, like the boom boom pow, like the jab jabban. <laughs> Here we go, round number five. As expected, this could go to a decision. Barboza just outworking 234 against 127 punches. It's not gonna... If Zuria don't do something here, it's just gonna get outboxed. And that's exactly what's happening right now. Um, he, again, um, the scorecard will basically interpret this as a one-sided fight. But the thing is, um, you know, uh, again, uh, Zuria you know can uh can you know can stay there uh but he's losing he's losing he's not offering a lot i mean he's a good boxer don't get me wrong but not good enough against barbozo is just out working out hustling out punching him i don't know what out other out i could say hakuna matata <laughs> you know in boxing um you know Oh my god uh, I, I don't think Frank <laughs> I don't think uh, uh, Zuria can do that But If if um, Let me use this Let me let, Let's play some game I will use Hakuna Matata But if uh, Arnold Barboza Can continue To punch And to box The way he's doing Oh go though he, he got hurt with uh, The right hand Not hurt I mean punch Solid with the right hand uh, then he will have no worry. Because Hakuna Matata, it means no worry. It's a problem free. See, I, I watched The Lion King, man. Hakuna Matata. <laughs> uh, Barboza Jr. He's getting him the right, right straight. Lamang uh, Zerulia? No, no. It's, it's uh, Barboza all the way on my scorecard, brother. Round number five. It's Barboza, outwork. <laughs> we're having fun. We're we're a boxing fan. We're having fun, of course. I mean, we gotta have fun. Go, guys. Give give me something here. Give me something to work it. <laughs> Round number five. Again, jab straight. Zuria still offering that right straight. Sometimes it's landing. Sometimes it's not. But he needs to land more punches because he's out getting out points. And uh, the longer this fight goes and Barboza looks to being able to absorb those punches. He, he get punched hard, but he accepts it. And he returns back with not one, not two, not three, but a lot of co combination punches that may not really hurt. But, um, you know, scores. I'm trying to get... Uh, um, Zerilia just maybe give me a reason to score the, this next fight to him I don't know man I'm just too nice I'm just too nice alright ESPN Junior Walterweight top 10 the power top 10 ranking 
Uh, by ESPN, Jack Catral, Josh Taylor, Jose Ramirez, Reggie uh, Progre, Jose Zepeda, Arnold Barboza, Subriel Matias, Gary Antoine Russell, Jose Pedroz- Pedraza, Montana Love. And when Ryan Garcia moves up to 140 and Chofimo Lopez and Gervonta Davis, they're going to be on this list. Thank you, sir. Next fight daw si Chifimi Lopez kung manalo si Barbosa. Tingin mo, sir, pa. I, that's what I was saying. Um, I didn't know it, but I assume that these guys, one of the, whoever wins this one, maybe match up against Chifimi Lopez. Yeah. Regis, Regis Per Grey is part of that. Maybe we should give the Zorilla a round. <laughs> Just too nice. So, 49. Um... Forty-six. Forty-nine-forty-six. That's my score. Round number six. Thank you. Love you, bro, Frank. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Barbosa Jr., round number six. Halfway through. Body shot. Uppercut by Barbosa. If if just in case Barbosa fights Chufimo Lopez, I mean, uh, Chufimo Lopez in trouble against Barbosa. Barbosa is a very good boxer. Nice work, four, five, six combinations, starting with a jab, following up with a straight, with a hook and an uppercut, and he is just teaching Barbosa uh, Zuria a lesson or two in boxing here, and outworking him. Arnold Barboza Jr. not a good matchup for Chapimo Lopez. Uh, not a good matchup. I think uh, Arnold Barboza uh, have a chance against Chapimo Lo- uh, Chapimo Lopez. Uh, August thirteen, Chapimo Lopez. Uh, who's Pedro? Uh, let me see, Chapimo Lopez. Um. He's fighting um, Pedro Campa. Just out work. Just out work. Just out being out work. This guy is being out work. Zuria is being out work by Bervoza. There's just no way that this guy is going to win just like, like that. He needs, he needs to hurt Bervoza now. He needs to hurt Barboza. Or he needs to win all of the rounds moving forward. But round number six. Ooh, good counter again. What a nice counter. That's a very nice counter from Barboza. Garcia is going to win uh, by knockout tomorrow. Uh-huh. Uh, I think uh, Vio Fortuna is gonna risk it. If he doesn't risk it, then he's gonna win by decision. But Rangers is gonna win tomorrow. Uh, that's my opinion. Vio Fortuna, of course, he has a chance to win. I, I, I would love it if he wins. Round number six. Come on. Barboza. 59-55 There's just no way that uh, Zuria is gonna win right here doing that Thank you guys. Uh, anyone outside the, the country watching this, I, I really appreciate it that we're trying to, to grow our global presence uh, so that, you know, uh, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, Barboza. Uh, 
Uh, okay, the, the commentators, uh, I think that is uh, Timothy Bradley talking about the hands of uh, Barboza. Not that uh, act. Come on. Uh, not trying to finish. He has hurt his hands, but no, I don't think so. 33% against 7%. Last round. My God, Zorilia only was able to touch Barboza just one time. And, and he wasn't even throwing punches. Uh, I guess Marty is right. <laughs> a little bit of a snoozer for Zorilla, who just couldn't offer much. Uh, for uh, for Solidar Pau, does he have a KO power? Any chance? Um, Papi. Saludar is a boxer. Uh, Saludar, I don't think there's a KO. Oh my goodness. Cerilia just got hit again. Cerilia is uh, hurt. Cerilia is hurt and Barbosa looking. Oh, but he's still hurt. Left hook though, but he's still hurt. Cerilia is hurt. He was able to land the left hook, but his legs is wobbly again. His legs is wobbly. <clears throat> he's winning this one, but he doesn't need to go all in because he's winning already. But uh, the right, just watch out for the right hand. Still, the legs is not 100% for Zuria. And still fighting, just like what happened earlier in the fight. But Zuria has got hurt right there. Another one. Another one. Barbosa is gonna win this one. Sir Paul Kellen Laban uh, Today it's happening right now. Round number seven. Barbosa versus Zorilia. It's happening right now. Round number seven. It's a Barbosa show. Barbosa too good of a boxer. And he's he's looking for a knockout. Here's the thing, no, he's looking for a knockout, but he's not overcommitting to anything. Like he's just too deliberate on his attack. If so, there is a box with no chance to win because of the promoter decision will prevail. <laughs> that's what I, that's you said it, man. Um, uh, only way for Salador to win is really win very clean. He needs to win very clean. If it's a close fight, the guy four zero. I mean, if if you look at the scorecard, Poppy, Poppy, you would say Vic Salador would probably win. But you know, that's what I think. I mean. That's why I don't believe the records anymore, no? We need to see the power. Oh, good left hand by Zorilia, but his, his leg is still crossed. His leg is still crossed. Uh, Christian, I po Bunny Ranger say, Bakit parang mas gusto mong Fortuna ang manalo bukas? Um, I like Ryan Garcia. Here's the thing, guys. Here's the thing. Um, I'm not favoring any boxers. Really. Um... I just think it's it's a bigger news if Fortuna wins, but I don't think Fortuna has a chance. Christian Speedy, you gotta understand, man. I'm a commentator. You know, I, I don't need to side with anyone. I can if I want to, but I don't think to side uh, with anyone. And if you're watching my live and my videos, I'm always all in for Ryan Garcia. And I predicted Ryan Garcia to win this one. It doesn't mean I don't like Ryan Garcia to win. If I'm saying that Javier Fortuna uh, could have a knockout power. So watch out for that left hand. I gotta be honest with my viewers, man. <laughs> Fees, yeah. Okay, let me relax a little bit here. It's the Barbosa show. If Salazar is about... Anong uh, oras pala, Sir Pao? Tomorrow, 9 o'clock as always. And then 11 o'clock is the, uh, around the main event. There will be a cooking show. Hopefully not. Come on. Where are you guys going? There will be a cooking show for uh, so sad for our fellow Filipino. I uh, I will not bet. Thanks, Sir Paul. Go ahead and bet a little bit. <laughs> and uh, Barbosa just oh no, Zaria is hurt. He's really hurt. He's hurt now for for sure. Now he's hurt. He's wobbly on his legs and he's hurt on his body shot. And Zaria just a little bit on the uh, survival mode. He's attacking. But he's getting outboxed, outpowered, and I don't know what else he's going to offer here. I don't know what else he's going to offer.
Left hand for Barboza. Barboza scientifically dissecting Zurilia. Ha, sir, sorry, sir. I don't know what I'm saying. Of course, man. I understand. You gotta understand, guys, that I have to say uh, the truth and I have to hurt you sometimes. And just like me, when I talk about Manny Pacquiao and when I say Manny Pacquiao is the underdog, Manny Pacquiao is low, and a lot of people will, will react. But that's it. I understand you guys because you're fanboys of a certain boxers. Right? And <laughs> that's you. <laughs> that's on you guys. But, you know, let, let me say my piece because if, if I say exactly what you always wanted to hear, then why am I just here? I need to have a voice. But... Christian, of course, I love you. <laughs> and uh, Cerulea fanboy, I don't think Cerulea is going to win here unless he knocks out Barboza. If he doesn't knock out Barboza, then uh, there's just no way. There's just no way. This week, learn and fun with Sukham. Hi, Poppy. Hi guys! <laughs> Multitasking. Per is Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican. I'm a Filipina! I don't like to bury MC underground, it's a habit of mine. When they cross across the line and pretend to be a friend of me, but they ain't nothing but an enemy, relax. Barbosa Jr. You know that rap? Bam, right straight. Barboza. It's just Barboza, Barboza, Barboza. I, I don't want to score this. It's just a Barboza show. Just maybe one round for, for Zuria. Barboza, Barboza, Barboza. 69. Seventy nine, uh, seventy three. Round number nine. Yeah. And it wouldn't be interesting, brother, if uh, we're always on the same page, Christian Speedy. Uh, we won't have the debate. Sometimes, of course, we we gotta debate. Sometimes, I'd like to share something with you. Go ahead, Frank. Uh, connect with me on on Facebook or send me something on Pauka Sports uh, Facebook page. Uh, I don't know what you wanted to share, but go ahead, sir. Pow to daughter. Where, where, where are you guys going, daughter? We're going to find new dad because you always do stream. Joke. <laughs> they're going to their Lola, Marty. So they're asking for the keys of the car. It's it's in my bag. So I got to give it to give it to them. Um, Here we go. Round number nine. I think Barbosa is still lo maybe looking for uh, an emphatic finish here, but he's just too wise. He's, he's risking, um, what do you call this? How, how, how would I say this? Um, calculated risk. Weeks for favorite, easy win. Poppy Casino. Or are you f uh, from Poppy? Poppy can see. Poppy Casino. You, you gotta you, you gotta share your blessing, man. You've been an old time follower of Podcast Sports. Why are you not yet a member, man? Come on, forty nine pesos. That's nothing for you, man. You get a gloves, so you can you can uh, you can fight anyone in, in the comment section. Uh, Barboza, there's just no no other ways to say this, but Barboza just putting in a show, putting on a show, man. Good morning, uh, Sir Paul Idol host watching from Zamboanga, Mister Porus. Philippines, man, learn and fun. So can learn and fun with so can. Where are you from? We're from the Philippines. This is a uh, Filipino boxing channel. We do international boxing content too and talk about boxing. And someone just spam. So we got to block this guy. Block user. One minute and sixteen seconds. Uh, Chifimo Lopez will be in trouble if I, if he fights this guy. I am from India, Pundia. Oh yeah, 
You know, I I have a friend in India who's a boxing promoter who visited the Philippines. He brought um I'm, I'm going to just check who's that boxer. He brought him. I forgot. He was good. He was good. He fought um Wait. Right hand Zuria, but there's really nothing else to offer because the um, Zuria, uh, you know, and I mean, um, Barboza have received those punches already. I will serve our member maybe later. <laughs> I'm not forcing you, man. I'm not forcing you, man. Um, Jess Ray Waminal, uh, Sunil Siwatch. Sunil Siwatch uh, from India. After that fight uh, in 2019, he never uh, he never fight again. Uh, but uh, I'm friends with um, with uh, his manager. Gave me um, a tie and a pin as a gift. Uh, so shout out to my Indian followers if there are any, uh, at least one. Ten and final round. Suria needs a knockout. Suria needs a knockout. There's no, there's no way. Barbo, 89-82. Round number 10. Uh, round number 10. Uh, Barboza could probably win this one if this goes the distance. And all Barboza needs to do is dance now. Domination, total domination, guys. Just total domination. <laughs> Fighters get lied to all the time. They're just trying to, uh, uh, motivate their boxers. Zuria will probably go the distance as expected, but uh, it's not gonna win this one because Barbosa is even the one that's active. Oh, Barbosa got hit and he got wobbled right here. Oh no, he's clinching now. He's got wobbled. Zuria may have something to offer in the 10th and final round uh oh now he's gonna dance he got hit right there he tried to go for a knockout he shouldn't do that he was feeling comfortable and just like that Zerilia is hunting him in the 10th and final round all he needs to do is survive though Barboza all he needs to do is survive and Zerilia with this power right hand and Barboza looking like he's in trouble in the 10th and final round. Oh, shucks! Round number 10 is now has come alive. And Barboza exchanging. Oh my goodness, Barboza's. All he needs to do is dance. He doesn't want to dance, he, he wants to box. And Barboza and Zurelia, round number 10, fireworks. Barboza in the corner right now and Zurelia moving forward and Barboza exchanging. He wants to fight fire. He wants to showcase his power. <laughs> I don't know if this is the right thing to do. I don't know. I mean, the fans like it. The fans like it, but I don't know if the corners like this one. <laughs> Zurelia <laughs> still got the power. You got to get out of there. There you go. He just need to clinch. He got caught in round number 10. He got caught. He got... Uh, he, he danced the... Uh, um, Nene. For a brief moment right there. 
And Zerilia hunting. Zerilia just throwing everything he got as he should. 10 round. Oh, Zuria! Just going for the kill. Just wasn't enough. That was a uh, Zerilia round. Ra last round, Zerilia. <coughs> 98. Ninety-two. Two rounds for Zuria. Okay, how to help you, Bosino, Bosino, Lamang. It's a Barboza show. But look at this. Round number ten. He risked it. He got caught right straight, and he wobble, 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 and he did the chicken dance with the right hand. Look at the legs. Okay, we wait for the decision. We wait for the decision now. We wait for the decision, guys. So what could be the decision now? Uh, it's Barboza is gonna win this one. No question in this fight. It's Barboza. If I'm wrong here, I'm gonna stop blogging. <laughs> if I'm wrong here, I'm gonna stop blogging because that's a very clear uh, fight. It's uh, Barboza. Uh, who won that one? Barboza is gonna win. If Barboza gets defeated, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> I'm not if Barboza is gonna win. If Zurillo wins. I'm gonna stop. Barboza is a clear, definite win. That means I don't know how to look boxing. Uh, look at the boxing fight. So, again, <clears throat> now, man, I didn't bet any a single cent. So let's wait for the decision. Last round, I mean, that, that was, man, that was a Zuria round. I scored it, my score is 98-92. 98-92. Or 91 pala. 91, sorry, 98-91. That's my score. Let's wait for the uh, official score. Commercial pay. This is how I scored it. Uh, my score. Pau score. My score. Official score. Official score. Let's wait. Sa tinayan ang boss mo piniplay namin habang nagla-live while watching the live event like now. Kahit madalas hindi sync yung boss mo, sir. Sa uh, nangyari, sorry. Salamat. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm sure delay ako ng konti, but thank you so much, Christian Speedy. Lods, my black t-shirt uh, pa ikaw na binibenta. Meron po sa Shopee. Just go to Shopee, guys. Shopee. Let me uh, remove this blue, blue background. Uh, right after you're done at uh, Temecula. Okay. Why don't it happen to Tufima Lopez? Worldboxingnews.net. Oh. 
So waiting guys. By the way guys, just in case you haven't gotten my shirt, I do have a black shirt. And please do get it. There's a red, white. There's a black shirt you can order. Powcast. 250 pesos. Uh, ship only in the Philippines for now. So there you go. Waiting for the official decision, but it's all about formality, and uh, I I just know that uh, Barbosa got this one. They're just uh, promoting Chufimo Lopez right here, promoting him. So we'll wait for the decision. Ninety-eight, ninety-two. Oh yeah, I thought there was a knockdown. Sorry, it was. It is ninety-eight, ninety-two. I thought there was a knockdown. Ninety-eight, ninety-two. So, official score now. Let's wait for the official score. Mark Chinook. Ninety-eight, ninety-two, ninety-seven, ninety-three, times two. Barboza Jr. wins by a unanimous decision. Via unanimous decision. Uh, Zorelia. So, yeah. That is that. Let me just uh, update my banner real here. Okay. That's it. We shall score 98-92. Let me just uh, do this real quick. So I can do a screenshot. Here, here, here. Okay, so tapos na po. Um, so panalo po si uh, Barboza won this one. Yun thanks lots my Shopee pala order pa ako. Yes sir. Sir po, tattoo artist ako. At tatuhan kita ang pakas libre lang basta uh, suhot ka lang ng kangungan yung white ha. Uh, no sir, thank you. <laughs> Ikot talaga. No, no, the artist of Donny Nietes is very good. If I'm gonna do a tattoo, whoever's doing Donny Nietes tattoo is very good. So anyway, I I, I say goodbye. Thank you so much for joining me. I may do a, a quick live later for quick updates, but uh, I appreciate you guys. Uh, everyone that's watching here, you're a real hardcore fans. These guys not are not popular in the Philippines, but you're here watching. Thank you so much, and I'll see you again on my next live. My name is Pao Salud. I'll see you again. Powercast Sports. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.